Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're in the back garden rather than the fish room. We're going to be tackling this thing. A new project for us. I talked about ponds in the past. That was one of the goals in the new house is to get a pond going. I actually got a little bit of a kind of fake golf, golf hole in the front garden. And the bunker there is where we think we're going to put the proper pond. Proper and in inverted commas. So we've got this thing here in the middle of the... This is a kind of back side garden which used to be a planter, so it used to be filled with uh, soil, but it's just kind of sitting there as a bit of an eyesore. We've not really got any plans to plant anything in it, so we thought we'd turn it into a bit of a water feature if we can. So it's quite ugly. It'll, really, it's just these bits that are ugly. There's coping stones on top of this are just concrete slabs cut to size. Not very nice, not very appealing. So we've bought new coping stones for the top, dug it out a little bit. I've bought a pre-moulded, injection moulded pond thing, which is this thing here, which claims to be 270 litres. That's going to go in there. A little bit of planting around the outside, new coping stones on top, maybe a few fish, we'll see how we get on, uh, and some kind of DIY filter system. And then we should be good to go, but let's have a go and we'll crack on at removing these top slats. It's taken us a few hours to get to this point. We've emptied everything, lots of chiselling. These blocks here are fairly decorative because on the other side, they're just lots of jagged concrete things. So we could have gone with a pond liner that might have saved time, but I think that have just torn it to shreds. So well done me for thinking of this. It was the wife who's off camera. So we're in, we're level. Um, it was basically just a case of in, out, in, out, adding, smoothing um, the soil. So we're just going to backfill everything now so we've got that ready. What we've got on this side is a little area for planting here. It could be an area for a bog filter or something like that, but I'm going to go with an internal filter and just have plants here, giving a little bit of shade because the sun comes from that side. So, more spade work. For my wife. I've just sat there watching me do all the work. So day two kind of got rained off, but we've had a little bit of progress. So I've got all the coping stones off, the new ones on, just need to get them mortared in. I've filled it, we've put in a bed of gravel, we've used 10 millimeter gravel uh, for the base of the pond and we filled the side, so we just need to do the planting, mortar in the coping stones and sort the filtration. Filtration is going to be this. <laughs> so I'm using a solar uh, pump again, but I'm just basically using this canister. So the idea is that I will have three layers. So I've got the pump at the bottom, a piece of sponge on top of the pump, I'll have my biological media here and then another piece of, I've used jack mat here at the top and then drilled some holes in the top of this so the water will filter in through the bottom and be pushed back out. I've got a fountain attachment that came with it at the moment but that could be anything, I might just recirculate it. Um, but I'm really impressed, the sky at the moment is overcast, really cloudy, really dark but still it's running quite well. I will put links to the pump and all the equipment that I'm using down below. But yeah, so far so good. The pond itself has been running for about a week now, but the weather's just been a bit terrible, so I haven't got around to doing the pointing until today, so that's all done now. I'm really quite impressed with this solar panel um, that's running the pond pump. It's a bit of a DIY job. It was inspired by a, a pond guru video that I saw, so there's other options I could do with the filter itself. It's a bit 
obvious, so maybe I should have used a black bucket. Basically any kind of pipe or bucket or something like that. I'll leave a link in the description to the one that inspired me, but maybe this can inspire you. But any kind of black material or green material, I might paint it with something that's aquarium safe and that would cover it up a little bit. But it functions perfectly. So the next step is to plant it up and add some fish. I'm not going to do that just now because we're about to go on holiday and I don't want to make any changes just before I go on holiday. The filter itself, it looks a bit pathetic now, but it does actually pump a fair bit of water through there. I haven't actually measured it, but it's, it's rated for far higher than what it probably is producing, but it's plenty that it's getting through there. I've just submerged it slightly because I don't want the wind blowing the water all over the place while it's like that, so it's just a little bit of a trickle. It comes with a few different heads as well, so we can change them to get different different outputs, but it's, it's great, it's fantastic, really happy with it. Still thinking what fish to actually put in here, whether to go for something like a nano fish, like some kind of rice fish, or some white clouds maybe, or go more traditional goldfish, or shamunkins or something like that. So let me know in the comments what you think I should be doing in terms of that. Um, the filter, like I say, it runs from first light till a couple hours after last light. Even on days when it's been peeing down with rain, grey skies, really overcast, it's still been full power out throughout all the daytime. Um, so that'll look really good. Get it planted up, get some fish in here. Maybe a few other ideas that we might do some special stuff in here. But click that subscribe button and come back and have a look. So I hope you enjoyed that, quite a simple, quick DIY thing. Not everybody's obviously got this stone thing in the middle of their garden, but you could do this anywhere. You could sink that tub, you could build something with wood, with sleepers, it'd look really quite cool. Just an easy way to get into having a little backyard pond. If you like this kind of thing, click that like button, subscribe button, come and join me on a Friday evening. We do a live stream most Fridays at 9pm UK time. And we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye.